the picture of Hermes with the Discord notification. <laughs> it's Morbin time. Welcome to the podcast where we talk about anything and everything that comes out of the crapshoot. I'm your host, JD. This is my co-host. James. I call him James. Everyone else calls him Jimmy. It just works like that. It's weird. And a lot of things have happened this week, James. A lot of big things have happened this week. Very serious, horrible things have happened this week. Can we talk about the Aisha Speed one? I have that written down, actually. Okay. That's not, that's on my list. I guess we could just knock that off right away. So uh, if so you don't funny. know who I show speed is, he's a uh, he's a gamer. He's a gaming boy. He's probably one of the the most um, casual. No, it's like the most mainstream gamer you can imagine. You know, dude plays like EA games or whatever. He's actually, I don't know mid. what he plays. I don't he, think I've ever he, seen any of his streams, but I just know he's super popular. He plays like a lot of different games, but he's just his con is just purely i am loud and <laughs> and i am loud and i am it's proud so fucking boring <laughs> what <laughs> james are you telling me you don't like loud things you don't think loud things are funny hey listen i i moved away from that <laughs> <laughs> yeah when did you move away from that i'm no longer the boy i was i quit <laughs> <laughs> the bully <laughs> no but i I, I, the most surprising thing to me was that he's actually a 17 year old. Yeah, he's he's really young. Um, I didn't he's know really that. young. I he's only a fraction like of your age, and he's like he's a fraction of your age, and he's like uh, he's like seven eight years younger yeah, than he's me. Quarter so. of yours. Yeah, he's a tenth of your age, and he's he's about a fourth of mine. So. You know, he's like a ninth of mine, but you know, kind of like a seventh of yours. But you know, James, even if he is what 17. I don't think he's uh, that excuses from what he's done so far. What he's done. He definitely doesn't. <laughs> so what has he done, James? Tell me. So he very nobly promoted a very shitty crypto scam that was like whoa, a video whoa, game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Legally, we're not allowed to say if it's a scam or not. Just say the name of the crypto company. JD, they they very What's much the name? So. What's the it's name like of the crypto Paradox company? Crypto or something? It, I think it is. I think it was called Paradox. I don't. I was tell. I was asking you to do it because I. Paradox I don't remember something. what it was. I don't, <laughs> it's Paradox something. Yeah, it was Paradox. I think Paradox. Um, <laughs> I can't, crypto. I can't believe. I can't believe they got a fake Ronaldo. <laughs> yeah, they had a fake Ronaldo or Cristiano Ronaldo on stream. Now I'm also <laughs> not a. Player. I'm also not a uh, sports kind of guy, so I don't know. I not really sure who that is. He's just a soccer player, famous soccer player. He's like I guess. the most famous soccer player, basically. The most famous. I don't think I've ever heard his name. Um, yeah, since, JD, ever name since one soccer thing. player you've ever heard of. Cristiano name Ronaldo. Of- exactly. Because <laughs> I just exactly. heard of it when I was uh, when I was looking at that I show speed news. Oh my, God, my dogs are dogs going are crazy. Big in the- Cristiano Ronaldo fans. No, it's because my um my aunt's been vi- my aunt's visiting. From a California, oh, my, aunt no. from Cal- my aunt from California, my other aunt. Can we, can we, uh, I was about to say, can we get her on no. the podcast? No, I don't think you'll like, she'll like being on the podcast because she'll, she probably, she strikes me as one of those really anxious people of like, um, you know, everyone's there, everyone's been, uh, or no, it's every one of my teachers at school are like, you better protect your privacy online. Make sure you, you know, you, you, you lock down all your accounts. You make sure you never use any social media. And then, uh, what? you know, of course I don't. I don't really do it. He's like, they're like, you should use Google products. They're tracing, you're tracking your every move. And I'm like, I don't really have anything to hide. And I don't care that much. But my aunt is definitely <laughs> really someone is. who is, uh, my aunt is definitely someone who, be, who is like, um, you know, what? I should stop using the internet because I do have something to hide. Yeah. yeah <laughs> it's what is probably it? one of those people. Well, you know, I don't think I'm at liberty to say, so I don't want to, I don't, you, I don't want to be man? throwing, I don't want to be throwing my own blood underneath the bus here. Crypto? So. Are you the man that designed the Paradox Crypto game in Unreal yeah, Engine 5? I am. I'm British, and I'm also... Um, what Are was you? Their, what was their races again? I don't remember. What they, I, I just know that on CoffeeZilla's... There was like a clip from CoffeeZilla where they were like, Okay, I get it. Maybe you don't like the color of our skin or something. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they no, did say that. Guys- yeah, you guys when, just when made Coffeezilla, a game. Coffeezilla interviewed, or like they got he got him onto like a Discord call, and he's like questioning him about the uh, paradox crypto. He's like, "So you guys are a scam, right? You guys are a scam." 
And they're like, no, 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 no. I don't understand where all this hate is coming from. I get that you maybe don't like the color of our skin. <laughs> so he's like trying I, to pull like oh the, uh, you're racist card. So <laughs> Your mom. Uh, excellent argument. However, you're racist. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice argument, Senator, but where's your facts? My facts are you're racist. I am just horribly racist. Oh. Yeah, and down the net. <laughs> Standing here, I realize. We should, we should do a playthrough. Like you that. were just like me. <laughs> Try to make history. <laughs> Yeah, we should do a playthrough of that game. And, yeah. But you should be the one playing it, and I'll go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, come, I'll come over to your yeah, house. And then, yeah, this will be like our what? Like our fifth playthrough where I've done that? Oh, wait. No, it's our zeroth playthrough when we've done yeah, that. Yeah, because yeah. It probably I'll, won't I'll, come over, I'll come over to your house and we'll record it. Well, I don't have the game. <laughs> yeah, Why you, you come do. over to my house. <laughs> JD, don't you have the Steam. better audio? Don't you have the check better audio Steam. set up? Yeah, exactly. I'm bringing it over to your house and then sending you the file. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you and your audio thing were being recorded on the uh the sid card or whatever mm -hmm. the sid yeah <laughs> that reminded me of the the interaction i had with my father so recently my internet's been more horrible than normal and that's why I i've understand. been i haven't been streaming so what, what happened was you're my, not streaming no so my internet um my ethernet i think was really fucked up so I was getting like 500 kilobyte per second download speed, less than a megabyte, and I just couldn't do any. I couldn't do anything. Couldn't connect to my uh, my school server that I could work on my projects with. So I was like, "What the fuck's happening?" I was like, "I'll probably just wait it out." And then four days pass, and it's still the same. And I was like, "All right, fuck it. I guess I'll have to uh, do something." So I got a Wi-Fi adapter. And instead of using Ethernet, I use Wi-Fi now. And uh, it's it's better now. It's like uh, about as bad as it used to be, uh, but it's no longer worse. So, yeah, now I can actually do things. But when I was when I was going to um, get this Wi-Fi adapter, uh, my father was like, "Oh wait, I've got one. I'll I'll just give you one." I'm like, "Oh yeah, that's that's great. I'll I'll use yours then." So he hands me the Wi-Fi adapter, and then he hands mm -hmm. me this little like um this weird like circular looking thing. Uh, to me, it's inside like this uh, this envelope, but it's just like an envelope for the circular thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then um, and he's like, yeah, so you just you know you slot the um, what was it called, disc into your uh, PC or whatever, and then uh, you have to download the drivers that way. And I'm like, what? What are you, what are you talking about? What? So I I get the thing. I go over. I look at my PC, and I'm like, I I can't put this anywhere, and it it doesn't. It's not a thing. So then, you know, I don't know, Jay, just, it just sounds like a skill issue, if you ask me. No, it's a boomer thing. Yeah, apparently, no, 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 apparently no, no, back no. in the it's day, a... back in the day, they used to use this skill thing called, um, I think it was called a disk drive or something that PCs used to have. <laughs> and you would Imagine put like, you put disk like, drive. This, you put this like weird circular thing inside the disk drive into your computer. And then it would do something like spin or spin around, do something in there. Can you imagine that it wasn't online? Like, I can't imagine that. I don't know, JD. I grew up in a time before yours, you know, back in the real world when men were men. In hard <laughs> Did you grow up in a men, world where men, men are men? Would you consider yourself a man? Hard... <laughs> a man of men, huh? <laughs> in, in hard times make soft men, and soft men make hard times. <laughs> yeah. And which which one are you, James? Oh were you a man were you a man made from hard times or are you a soft man? I, I'm a hard man. <laughs> Well, you know, James, you, you're pretty different from all the men that I've seen, so. Oh, yeah? Why, why is that, J.D.? Well, I mean, you're just horrendously ugly, and I just thought that was <laughs> a little bit different. Um, you're also uh, white, so take oh. this L plus ratio. Whoa, plus, JD. nice argument, however, your mother. So actually, um, actually, J.D., I'm mixed. Oh, yeah? What do you mix with? Your mom. <laughs> 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 anyway back to um i show speed what were we talking about so yeah he's the uh he's the guy i think i've seen clips of him where he's just like screaming at the camera or something yeah i've seen uh, clips barking where, like, he barking goes at the camera and i was oh, and i was yeah, looking at barks. that and i was like oh man dude james would love this guy 
I don't. I was thinking in my mind, like, hey, this is exactly James's type. And then, uh... It's not. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry to shut down the joke, like, right here now. I find I, well, I show Speed to be so fucking annoying, and I do not know why he's popular. Hey, you know, it's okay if you find him cringe. I mean, it's just... <laughs> cringe. I, I understand that maybe you don't like the color of his skin, but, you know, it's just... <laughs> 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 bring it a full Society. circle here. bring it a full circle so um yeah he went out, he, he did like this stream where not only in that street the, the big thing i didn't like about that stream was i think he was doing a giveaway for ps5s but instead of actually giving yeah, them he away he just giveaways. instead of doing the giveaway he just took them and then you know you read out the winners and then they think he just smashed the ps5s instead of giving them out like on stream so Whoa, he just he just smashes like, all the ps5s well, because it's funny, James. Again. Is it? I mean, I was laughing when I saw it. And I'm pretty I mean, sure the people who I'm won... I'm not planning to buy sure a PS5 fucking ever, but... I'm pretty sure the, the people who were who wanted those PS5s were also laughing when they when he saw them doing that. Oh, yeah, dude. They were, but it was all, it was dude, extra were, funny because it really started barking. They were, they were really raffle coppering, man. What? Chwak, chwak, what chwak, 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 what chwak, are you chwak, talking chwak. about, dude? What is up with you recently? I can't. I can't tell if you don't know what Ronald Cuthering is or not, though. I I don't actually. I've heard the you term, but I don't know what it is. Like unironically. Yeah, unironically, I've heard it before, but I don't know what it is. Unironically, you're cringe. Uh, all right, James. Uh, but yeah, he was fucking smashing PS fives, and I just yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's like that same feeling your father gets when he sees you on a podcast where he's just like starts does cringing. He, does and he? He, yeah. Yeah. Does he? He told me just the other day. <laughs> he told, he told <laughs> you. You <laughs> talking to my dad? I was talking to your father about certain uh, God pill ideologies. And, you know, I think we agree on <laughs> a lot of things. He was, he was bringing that up today. <laughs> yeah. See, was, I told you I, he was bringing it up to you because we he talked about it recently I, with me. Out of fucking nowhere, he just goes, did you know? <laughs> did you know? You know. <laughs> He's like, I, I saw, you know, that apparently all the presents were actually black. And we're like, what? Goes, did you know that yeah. all of the all of Africa's presidents were black? I don't know, JD. America's. Oh, all of American presidents were black? All of American presidents were black, according to my father. Mm -hmm. And really? how does he know this? I, I say, Dad, what, where do you learn this? He goes, Instagram. And I say, Dad, you gotta stop watching that Godfill stuff. And he goes, no, 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 Jim. I was watching black people stuff. No, 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 Jim. I was expanding my horizons by learning about this culture of different colored skin people. <laughs> Can you believe oh, that no. they speak the same language as us, Jim? <laughs> I heard they even own property. That's no. well, that, that's news to me. <laughs> no, Dad, stop. I was walking in our neighborhood the other day and I saw no. one. <laughs> he's done that. He's, he's, Has he done that? <laughs> he'll, he'll be driving and then he'll just see like two people of color that he doesn't recognize. And he'll stop and he'll kind of like roll the car back. He just sits there and stares at him for a second. I'm like, Dad, those are our neighbors. He's like, I don't recognize them. I'm like... They've lived on the street them. from us for like five years. We literally, we, they, we literally saw them coming out of the garage a, a day ago. No, no, that's I wasn't. I didn't remember that. Mm -mm. Dad, we, we've several times come out and commented on the fact that those are our neighbors. Yeah, I like how, uh, even though my, even though my uh, parents are like vocally racist, they aren't. They aren't actually like their actions aren't that racist, you know. But you know, I guess it's just. I think racism is just subjective, you know. Are you saying that racism is taught? I'm I'm saying that you're born with it, and then you expand on it when you in, <laughs> like when you're in your lifetime. Wow! Like the complete opposite of like sexualities, you know. Huh? 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 <laughs> huh? <laughs> is is this just the episode of the worst takes imaginable? Yeah. Uh, so another news. If our parents, if our parents made pod, show. dude, if our parents made podcasts, <laughs> oh, no, I, I'd watch them. 
just I've to asked, see what kind of stuff they talk about. We've asked our dad, like when we were when I was still doing Silly and Slider, we'd asked our dad to come onto the podcast. Yeah, j- j- dude, times. make make a God pilled episode. Wait, the, the crapshoot God pilled special? <gasps> oh we my explore, god! Explore the God pill sphere. We travel to L.A. and sit outside of the Scientology uh, yeah. church castle. Yeah, we could be just like Super Mega, who used to be religious and then is no longer, but still make jokes about it. Oh Except- wait, there's a there's literally a church up the street from me. We can go do the podcast, but outside, but we yeah, sit we on can the go sidewalk. to that Mormon church right outside our uh, high school. You know the one that was really close to the high school. Let's go. <laughs> let's go set up shop in front of that, and then <laughs> yeah, start start that. recording some God pill stuff. Hell yeah, brother! Yeah, I drive drove by it. Uh, I mean, I I saw it on the Joe way to Biden. school on, on my bus. Yeah, did you know Joe Biden's actually black? One of my uh, one of my coworkers has a vinyl wrap They're on the back of their truck's like, trunk whatever. of a Joe Biden that's passed out and tied up, and it looks like he's lying uh. in the trunk. And and even our boss, who's pretty who's pretty red filled, goes, "That's a bit that's a bit of a crazy person thing that's, to do, that's isn't quite it?" Quite a lot, actually. That's quite a lot. <laughs> and that's a what a crazy person thing to do. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, it is. Wake up, sheeple. Yeah, I mean, I mean, as much as as much as uh, you might hate our current president, I mean, I'd say he's doing pretty fine, except for the fact that he's not. <laughs> oh, sorry, dude. I was I was just allergic to bullshit. The bullshit that I was spouting. Yeah, JD, it was bullshit because uh, the real problem we got to talk about is Judge. Mm-hmm. Ju- uh george biden who's george biden (laughs) your mom (laughs) your audio cut out so it was just you it was just one millisecond of you screaming (laughs) Uh, sometimes you just you just gotta perfect the uh you just gotta perfect the technique of screaming you know yeah i mean you see you say oh i don't like i should speak because all he does is scream and then like I do that, and you start laughing. See, the double standards, James. It's funny because it cuts off. (laughs) Oh, so if I I showed speeds, screams were cut off, then you'd laugh too? Yes, because cut off screams are always funny. Ask anybody. Oh, yeah? It's why ask your father then, huh? If I asked your father and I showed him a clip of that, do you think he'd laugh? Or do you think he'd be like, no, it's stupid. That's stupid. That's just, that's unfunny and that's stupid. And then he turns and he sees the, uh, he sees like the 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 post about like all the American presidents were black. And he's like, oh, that's pretty good, actually. <laughs> that's pretty good. Hey, but, uh, I don't I don't know why he thought that because like the thing is like, well, actually, it, there is scientific evidence that one of the presidents was half black but never acknowledged it. Who is that? Because... George Cleveland. What? <laughs> George Cleveland. His name isn't George Cleveland, is it? It's like something else. <laughs> no, it's it's not. I just made a random name. <laughs> isn't there a president named Cleveland though? It's like I something think so. Cleveland. There's something Cleveland. I gotta I gotta <laughs> look at that. I got caught off guard by you saying that because I was so sure that it wasn't. I wasn't even sure what you were saying. No, it was Grover thinking. Cleveland. Grover. Okay, I was yeah. close. It started with a G. I remember that. Shut the. F- what what do you mean? Huh? I was closer. It's points to me. Yeah, I mean, I get points. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I get points. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's a there's like one of the presidents. I don't think it's Thomas Jefferson, but I think it's wait, like do you around. Think it's, the... Wait, do you think it's? Do you think it might be Obama? No. No, I wait. don't think so either. He's like Hawaiian, right? So. No, 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 that guy is Italian. Obama. Yeah, he's straight up Italian. Damn. That's why he After has all a, these years, it's still he has an that. amazing. What's his last name, amazing, though? Is his last name Italian? I think it's like uh, Rashid or something. It was Obama Rashid? Obama Rashid, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's Obama Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> if you're Italian and you watch the crap shoot. Obama Meatball. Uh, Mama Mia, <laughs> we enjoy your company. Mama, Mama Mia. Just know you're welcome here. Um, yeah. You say that right after I say the word Obama Mia. (laughs) 
<laughs> You're welcome here, Italian people. Obama, me. You know, just know that. Uh, I guess no, uh, no race, no country is safe from uh, safe from being made fun of. No countries, no flags. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a terror threat. Yeah. So all you know, I think that crypto thing is uh, not going to pan out. And speaking yeah, of, uh, yeah, while on the topic of crypto, uh, you hear about the fall of uh, FTX? The fuck is FTX? FTX, from what I think it is, or from what I've heard, is like a marketplace to sell and buy cryptocurrencies, I think. Uh, I, I'll have to fact check this real quick while I talk about it. But um, FTX, yeah, it's a cryptocurrency exchange. So FTX is kind of like a, a stock market for cryptocurrencies. Yeah. And they were huge, really big. Um, they were probably uh, one of the biggest next to um, another one called, I think it was called Bit, Bit something. Oh, fuck. I forgot what it was called. Bit.ly. No, not Bit.ly. Those are the cool guys. And they only, they only show me a little bit of, uh, a little bit of ads. But, um, nice, <laughs> nice, but, uh, yeah. So anyway, they had like a different, there was another, um, rival, uh, cryptocurrency exchange is the rival crypto gang. Yeah. Um, and, uh, what happened was FTX, or I mean the, the, the CEO of Bi Binance, that's what it was called. The other uh, cryptocurrency exchange. It's called Binance. And the CEO of Binance had a big share in FTX coin. And uh, what he did was uh, there was a, I think there was a financial report that came out about FTX. FTX is like revenue and all, all of that, whatever that quarterly report is. And they, it was revealed that uh, a lot of their money was reinvested into their own coin. So a lot of FTX is money is invested in FTX coin. And uh, that was a bad thing. So the CEO of Binance uh, sold all of his FTX coins, which was about like half a million worth of it, I think. Binance sounds like such a fake. Like, Sorry, not, not half a million. Half a billion worth of FTX coin was sold. And see, the funny thing about cryptocurrency, James, is that there's no value in cryptocurrency. <laughs> Crypto, the crypto coins don't have value, James. Hey, that's not true. You're just making that up. You're you're just if saying you don't understand it, things. If you don't understand it, 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 think of it like this, right? Think of the coins as like a box, right? And you, no one knows what's in the box, but all the everyone box. knows is that the box is valuable. And if people think that the box is valuable, they'll invest in it, right? So as long as you think the box is valuable, then it is valuable. And that's what cryptocurrency is. So after that report came out and then a Binance CEO was like, this box is no longer valuable and the box has FTX labeled on it. He was like, I'm going to sell all of this. And it turns out that FTX uh, doesn't have enough money to pay back um, or to pay out all of these, uh, these uh, coins that were being sold. Because once Binance started selling all this shit, then everyone else started selling all their shit because this box all of a sudden has no value, right? So FTX went from like a multi-billion dollar comp multi-billion dollar company to like bankrupt overnight because of this like this choice. And the uh, CEO of uh this the, the funny thing is the CEOs of the FTX companies are like they're like the worst CEOs you've ever seen. Uh I don't know if you know who they are. Um but FTX the the main FTX company CEO is uh, named Sam Bankman. And that's not a real name. That is not a real name. I think it was Sam Bankman. Sam. It's not a real name. Yeah, it was Sam Bankman. No fucking way. His name is Bankman. His and name is doing, Sam Bankman. He was he was valued. Objects. He was valued at twenty two billion one day, and then the next day he was arrested. Nice. <laughs> he was arrested for trying to flee the yeah. country. I think <laughs> he was getting. He was arrested for having a fucking fake name. He was trying to. F he was trying to flee the country, and then he got arrested. But um, man, the, you know the I you know the meme of the um, I don't know if you know this one YouTuber that he does like videos about speed. certain people. No, not I show speed. It was Sunny V two. The only person that I know about 
the only thing the only clip i've seen this particular youtuber in was um the meme about like the milk re-milk or whatever it's called whereas like um <laughs> this milk that i'm drinking didn't come from a cow it came from a lab and these two guys made it and then the video cuts off there <laughs> do you know what i'm talking about i don't think i do but that sounds oh, man funny. i i have to find a clip so i could show you it later but yeah so it's basically like a um a guy who's narrating like a really fake narrator voice and then uh he did an interview with like or he did made a video about sam bankman and called him like the most generous billionaire ever and then sam bankman he like gets up on the camera and he's like uh yeah so i didn't want to make uh i i didn't want to get rich because i just liked the money i want to get rich so i could give it all to charity <laughs> and it aged like fine wine because uh <laughs> Yeah, it is company collapsed and um I think he had like a separate he had like a secondary company called uh Al Alameda Research. And then the CEO for Alameda Research was like this uh this like super nerdy looking girl who's like a Harry Potter fan. And um there was a, like an interview that surfaced with her where she was like, Yeah, I don't do any math on the job. It was, you know, just simple basic math. You know, and there's you know, people say there's a lot of risk involved, but you know, I, I, it's whatever. And it turns oh out she's God. like she has like zero qualifications to to yeah, be a CEO. It's just, it's just whatever, man. Yeah. So uh, that happened, and then the entire the entire thing fell down, and then a lot of people lost all their money. Can you believe it, James? People losing all their money in crypto. I mean, I didn't lose any of my money because I'm not a fucking idiot. So yes, okay. I can't believe it. <laughs> well, if you invest in crypto and you lost money, that's on you. I just gotta say that's on you because. You should have known. You should have known going in what was going to happen to you. <laughs> well, I mean, James, I, I, do you not put all of your eggs into one basket? No, of course fucking not. Well, it's because you don't have any eggs, so I guess I shouldn't be asking you. But, oh my um, god, wait, did, have you seen my fridge? <laughs> it's what? full of eggs. I have nothing but eggs. Yeah, I, I bet you like eggs. But they're all in separate baskets, JD. But I, I bet you like eggs, but only the white ones. That's what they sell at the store. <laughs> yeah, the white store that you go to. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't Should call Albertsons other. white. That sounds pretty white to me. Yeah, can you, d d whoa, whoa, hold on. If you heard a store called Albertsons, you wouldn't think it's white? No, JD, because the manager is a black man. <laughs> are you do you is that for real or are you just making that up? I've never seen the manager of Albertsons and now well, that I think about it, it's kind of There is no manager of Albertsons. <laughs> I, think, I think Albertsons is an SCP. <laughs> Albertsons Albertsons doesn't exist, dude. Nobody knows Albertsons. what Albertsons is. <laughs> Albertsons? Yeah, Albertsons. The only thing oh. I know about Albertsons is it's the it's the location it's the location of choice when you want to make shady money transactions in the back alley. <laughs> Who told you this? You don't remember Who's the you don't remember the story I told you about my aunt? In oh. the back of the Albertsons? You didn't You don't oh, remember that? Oh, I remember it now. Yeah, that's that's what I was referring to. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it was in a it was in a previous episode of the crap shoot. I guess you'll just have to watch it. I'm not sure which one it was in. I think it was in the you know, religion one, it was, actually. It was in the religion was, one. There's a religion one? Yeah. I mean, I've watched all of them, I know. <laughs> yeah, you say you watch all of them, but I know that you're just like me and you don't actually do it. I do it. Yeah? Yeah. Still waiting on that uh, Modern Warfare 2 uh, stream that you were, said you were going to do. Oh, yeah. Unless you did it already and I just didn't get a notification, but I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you did you just didn't, man. I streamed it like when it, the game first came out, so the VOD's gone now. Really? You know? Yeah. So, you know, I, I don't know. Even though you only you told it. me that you were going to do it a week ago? When That's not true, JD. I told you I was going to do it two months ago. No, I don't think so. Yeah, man. I was streaming the beta. Yeah. And, yeah. and did you only make money so you can give it to charity? <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Who fucking told you that? You know, just uh, a voice from above. The magic. <laughs> the man. The magic told me. They whispered it to me in my sleep. 
the magic. Have I told you that my aunt like relies on dreams in order to gamble? What? <laughs> I love your aunt, man. There, there <laughs> is a. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure this isn't your, for most. Your aunt for, is not a real person. Very really. You think my family is not real, Chaves? I don't think your your aunt is a fucking character, JD. She 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 might be like the main character in like a uh, a uh, what was it a comedic tragedy drama. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's about no like uh, you know the you know the bit of uh, where Aaron Aaron Hansen and uh, Dan Abaddon of Game Grumps were like, my name's Laura. And I'm 30 years old, 31 you're, years old, moved to the big city. My aunt is like that, is like that. <laughs> your aunt is Laura Schmidt. Where, where it's like, um, she, you know, life's not going well for her, but it's, it's mostly because of her own actions. <laughs> so, what's your, what's your aunt's name? Full name? Just first name. Just first name? It's, uh, Sandy. My name's Sandy. <laughs> and I, I've made... I will deals win the lottery outside of, black, outside of Albertsons. Yeah, so she but told you me you have to watch out for the. She black told me the other day that, um, or she told me a while ago that, uh, my well, name's Sandy. When she was when she was uh, guessing numbers for the lottery, uh, in order to win money, she would dream of our family members like birthdays and stuff like that, and use those numbers for the lottery. And when she dreamed. It's like, uh, well, she she's one of those people who believes that uh, her dreams are like full on reality or like premonitions of the future well, that's or something. They are, uh, maybe. yeah. Well, they are. Um, up until she lost. I mean, about, your your aunt is the messiah, basically. So yeah, she would she would use those dreams and be like, you know, my dreams are. She would say that the dreams are like um, the angels telling her um, what to gamble. I guess what numbers to gamble on. And you know, you know, in my in my head canon, you know, angels telling you to gamble is kind of contradictory. But you know, the angel appears before you, yells the words, "Do not be afraid." As it angel takes appears, on the shape. <laughs> angel wraps her arm around your <laughs> wraps her arm around you to be like, "This is you." You know, I think you should really bet zero seven one. I have a good feeling you know, about I, it. I, my buddy, my buddy was my good old expert, buddy, my good old pal. <laughs> My, you know, my friend, they're really an expert in this field. And they told me, these are the numbers you got to go for. And I said, I don't know, Clancy. I, I don't know. But he said, this is it. See this you, is it, Chief. <laughs> I'll see you when you're filthy rich. So, uh, yeah. Just raptures. Yep. So, yeah. You know, I think my my aunt and my um, father had a really big argument about this particular topic of the dream thing. Where, you know, he, I think my aunt told, like, what she told me to her fa- to my father was like, you know, I rely on my dreams and stuff to gamble with. And he's like, that's absolute bull crap. That's absolute bull crap. <laughs> you have no idea what you're talking about. Science will always reign super. And he does his own cringy thing about science. But then. <laughs> A man of science, I see. I remember, I remember this because I was really young. But uh, my aunt was like, um. Like, see, I I dreamed, I dreamed about, uh, I, I dreamed about JD's birthday, and the numbers zero two three came out. That's that's the day of his birthday minus the month. And I, <laughs> and my father's Jeez. like, oh yeah, well I could dream about a naked dancing clown on the street. Is that I mean it's gonna be real? No. <laughs> it's just Tell the funniest. The naked dancing clown, it's just JD. the funniest. It's just the funniest uh, argument that I've heard. But you know, um. My advice, just don't gamble. Actually, I was with William the other day. You know who William is? Yeah, you know who William is. <laughs> no, man, I've never heard of William before. I hung out with William on Thursday, and we went out to... Uh, we were going to go out to bowl, but uh, we went to Red Rock, and apparently he was really hungry when we got there. He, didn't, he hadn't eaten anything all day. He's a hungry boy. So we ate at the yard house, and then right after we ate the yard house, like, all right, let's go bowling. But then he's like, no, you see, J- you see JD... I can finally gamble this now. This is all a ploy. <laughs> you see, JD, I can finally gamble now. So I'm going to gamble. I'm, I'm going like, to gamble. Right. I was like, all life. right, I'll, 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 I'll stick with you and, and watch you, dude. So he got his player. He signed up for a player's card. And then he, uh, he had $200 that he was going to gamble. Can you guess the winnings that he made? Uh, $2. Negative $200. He lost yeah. all of it. <laughs> 
Let's and this go. was and this this it was funny because actually he spent more than two hundred. He said yeah he said he was only gonna gamble two hundred, but I think he actually gambled three hundred, and then he lost three hundred. And uh, it was it's actually frightening how fast you can lose money in in the casino. Like I didn't realize how fast you could do it because uh, if you were at like the slot machines or the poker machines, you could bet like fifteen dollars per like roll or run or whatever. And, you know, it takes like if you lost every single hand, which he did, you it would take like two minutes to burn through a hundred dollars, like no problem. You know, Jay, I just think it was your lack of uh, your uh, lack of belief in him. It, it really comes down to you. As I mean, a friend, maybe maybe I should, there. maybe I mean, I was there, but I was you there. You weren't there, man. I mean, I was I, maybe I should have told him that I was siphoning his magic uh, in order to roll gotcha uh, later that day. You, you should have looked around and seen the bank manager standing nearby pointing at him going <laughs> as he motioning siphoned to away his magic. Motioning to security with the with the neck, like the hand cutting the neck. <laughs> <laughs> no so it is long the crepid it's, finger dude it, everyone everyone, ar- ev- everyone around me is bound to get a gambling addiction at some point i just i, I just not. know it, james so my aunt like earlier that day my aunt uh, texted me saying she lost another thousand dollars in the lottery and i was like oh Fuck yeah uh, that'll bring her total up to uh negative 51 52k maybe all you gotta say is, there goes my hero. Watch them as they go. But no, 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 no. BC James, it's still her money. She just has to win it back. Her you know? money, and she wants it now. Yeah, it's her money. She just has to win it back. There goes my hero. <laughs> it's just Watch like she her. She it's like her. Goes. Like when she's like putting the numbers onto the lottery. Like take it. It's just like the Death Notes music playing. <laughs> As like the different camera angles are zooming in and out of her. Dot me, dot da. No, 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 no. Oh, James, you have anything? You have, want anything you want to talk about before uh, we peace um, out here? Or uh, Rooster Teeth did their uh, you know, yearly charity live stream. Yeah, uh, you talked about that last podcast. Did I? Yep. Oh, okay, I, I, then very clear. Then. Remember that. Okay, never mind then. I thought I hadn't talked about it yet. Okay, never mind then. No, um, I mean if you watch the one, if you watch the crapshoot, then you would know. I just don't remember talking about it. I thought I I thought I um, talked about like, yeah, it's happening. Did I mention what happened in it? Was like that before or after it happened? Um, I think you did mention it, and then you mentioned that it was ending. Right, um, I can't quite remember if you said it, what the they did off. exactly. Yeah, I think, uh, no, I think, yeah, okay, I think I did mention everything that happened. It's just, uh, it ended, they kind of got about half of what they usually do, uh, charity-wise, for donations, which is kind of unfortunate. I wonder why. uh, I mean, I know why. It's still unfortunate, because I feel like, uh, people, I feel like there is a difference between, you know, supporting the company and supporting this cause, because even if you don't like the company, you have to understand that, uh, the money that they raised here did literally help build several like ch- uh, children's centers for help and everything. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just a matter of trust at this point. Where do you trust this medium that you're going through to donate yes. to this charity? Uh, if if this medium was, you know, horribly racist and corrupt and uh, I mean, they're not. to their workers. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I'm just unless saying, they have I'm like the saying. unless they have the setup where they just donate directly to the charity instead of getting the money first and then donating it is that, that how that literally works is, it is how it works yeah oh so they just tell you to they, go to the website they literally and, and they literally it? don't get any of the money they have a direct link to donating to the website and stuff uh, i see. does not go to them yeah man i must make that charity look awful then being supported by a company like that but you know i guess it's just it's just <laughs> you're right there james I, I can't see you I've been drawing on screen, but whole, I can... Sorry, I've been drawing this whole time. So. I can tell that you're absent-minded because you're not reacting to what I'm saying. I know you, I know you want to think that like I'm just not jiving with your uh, jabs, but in reality... I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm, 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 I'm trying to get... I'm trying to yuck on your yum right now. You're not giving you're trying me to, you're trying to You're trying to cause me to have an aneurysm. And JD, God damn it, just like, won't I, I want this podcast to be another day in your life where you hate living... 
and and it's just not good for you. Well, JD, this just ain't living, and I just want <laughs> you to know. Well, that's that's great to know. I have one week left of work. Oh yeah, so you still uh, you're not one of those people who submit their two weeks and then just don't come to work for the last next two weeks. No, because uh, I still want to, you know, make the money for, like, the time I have left. I don't want to just, like, fucking walk away and not, like, get any money for working those yeah, last two weeks. you don't want to just press play and walk away? No, nah, man. I, I want to I wanna earn the money. I want to I earn my take, you know? I want to just... <laughs> you want to uh, earn that bread, you know? Uh, let's get it, boys. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a, a whole uh, thing. Yeah, I'm going to, by the way, on Monday, I'm going to be giving Noah the uh, script. Oh, I'm sure he'll love it. I'm sure he will, because I'm also giving him and somebody else there the script, because they're my choice for Mitchell and Adam. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to, there's a, a you need to tell me about me. their reactions uh, next time on the podcast. Oh, God, then. I truly do hope they're positive ones. I have a feeling they will be. But positive for me only. My my biggest problem. Here's the thing: no matter what reaction they have, it'll be positive for me. Yeah, but no it's not the same for you, James. You'll, you'll, no matter what happens, you'll be like, "Hell yeah, I get to, I do get to be." It's either Nick. I make fun of you for I make fun of you because it's not happening, or I'm excited because it is happening. So it's a win-win for me. If Noah doesn't, like, agree, it's still going to happen. It's just not going to, like, be with who I had originally wanted, so I'll have to find somebody new and stuff. But, like, it's still going to Yeah, gonna so it'll take another, like, what, three months and then... Hey, you know, just a bit of searching. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, James, you, you, you're a knee slapper, you know. You're quite a funny one. Has I don't think I'm that, that funny. I, I have gotten compliments on the script. You don't think you're funny? No, I do not think I'm funny. I think I'm a very unfunny person. What? Yeah. I, I do not think I'm a funny person at all, JD. What? Well, I mean, that's that's not what our comments think. Do you know how many oh, yeah. I have to delete making, like, ever, ever, like be those, those comments are in the format, like, JD, and then says something philosophical, and then James, clown face emoji. You know how many of those I had to delete? Yeah, how many of you have to delete, Jerry? <laughs> Tell me. If you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> we do this podcast every Sunday. And you can, so, you can, you can, you uh, can, what was it? You can go over to our new, you can go invest in our new crypto coin. Um, the crab shoot coin. The shit your panther. <laughs> shit your panthers coin. And we can, uh. And oh shit! If you wanted dude, to make I, a quick buck, you could just go over there. You know, just, like, put a couple cents I, in there. You remember Julian and Ding Dong from Oni Place? I do. Yeah. What about them? I didn't know they were gay. Yeah, they were definitely gay. That's, I, that I was mean, part of the I reason knew. why they broke up with the Game Grumps, or they never collabed with Game Grumps again. I think. What? Wait. What, wait, what does that, that mean? They had wait, some what? kind of drama with um, Game Grumps because they were gay, and then. Uh, yeah really yes there's something about that uh well, i guess we'll have to hold off the uh the end of the podcast for now and you're still a fan well i mean to be honest i haven't really watched any of this stuff recently and yeah, by recently i mean like plays. the last few years um whenever whenever they stopped the um they took the first break for the power hour uh like that when the first season of the power hour ended that's when i kind of stopped watching them uh, I, and then I it was after like, that that I discovered all of the, uh, the uh, the dramas that they've been in. So, and, you know, it doesn't get talked about a lot. I think there's only a very few videos about it, but they're all very interesting. Yeah, I've never heard of that before. That's really yeah, interesting. If you if you want to, if you want, I mean, I could tell you about some of them since I kind hey, of remember yeah. them. Um, but then again, I, I'm I not the even, number one de facto source of uh, controversy. I only know stuff, about so. like the one drama where Dan was accused of like raping a girl and stuff but then oh yeah was, that like, was fake I think. yeah that was fake. yeah that was that was 100 fake but that's like yeah but that's there like are the other ones one that i'm there aware are, of there were ones like um i think uh what was it aaron and aaron and his wife Susie were doing like a um a weird like chinese scam thing 
where they would buy Chinese products for like really cheap and then resell them for higher for a higher price. What? Something like that. There was like a scam of like that. They were doing that for some of their merch that like, back in the day. Was that like proved? Yes, that was a real thing. And that was like the early days of them doing their merch. Uh, I don't know if it was the early days. It might have been somewhere like mid mid years, maybe. I'm not sure exactly the time period. All I know is that they did they did do something like that. Um, and I know the drama of um, I think there was a drama with Oni Plays, and it was it was something along the lines of uh, I think what had happened was. They got into an argument about something. I could I could be entirely wrong with this. I don't remember it that well. All I remember the events happening was something happened between them two. And then someone on the Game Grumps side, I don't know who it was, um, I think doxed, doxed uh Oni plays, like Julian and Ding Dong, or something like that. And then one of and then someone told like their parents who uh, like their sexual orientation that they were gay. And their parents oh. and their parents didn't know that they were gay. So that oh, created shit. like a whole like bad thing happening on Oni Play's side. So then they is that sp- why like Ding Dong and Julian stopped doing Oni Plays and stuff and they moved away? Maybe I don't know. That might have been a completely different reason why they okay. they stopped doing Oni Plays. But I know that that happened, and then so they're not on good terms anymore, as far as I know. Oni Plays and uh, Game Grumps. Well, that sucks. I, I wasn't aware. Of yeah, that. that I think something like that happened. I'm not sure if it was the main people in Game Grumps who did that. Maybe it was like a fan of theirs that um doxed them and then did all that stuff like a fan of game grumps and then game grumps didn't like they like defended their fan or something i don't know but uh yeah that happened so yeah well i mean at the end of the day we just can't make jokes anymore you know no at the end of the day it all could have been solved if they just weren't gay it's literally a a joke (laughs) that chris and you (laughs) make really stop being gay Problem solved. Yeah, well, I, mean, I have I have the meme. It's, just it's, it it's like it's like that. Uh, it's like my mother and the uh, Ugandan like TV interviewer, where they're just like, "Why are you gay? Why did you choose to be gay?" Why are you gay? <laughs> Who says I'm gay? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like the wor- it's like the it's like the worst question to ask, and it's also the worst response. <laughs> Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? Who says I'm gay? You are gay. You are gay. <laughs> Why do they talk in English? <laughs> I because they. I I, think I've, there's like... I'm pretty sure they're they're pretty smart people, but they, when they talk in English in like the broken English, it makes them sound so much worse than <laughs> than what it is. It's so funny. Quit being gay. Both problems solved. Yeah, I mean that's what my that's what my mother said. It was just like why. Why did he choose to be that way? Honestly, kind of cute. And then like, I said, and I said, yeah, she was like, she was like, just honestly. honestly curious. And, you know, I don't think, I don't think my mother was like, well, she's not like consciously wait. against yeah. gay people. <laughs> wait, it's like, on, it's like wait, a wait, subconscious wait. xenophobic thing. Was this your mother about me or? Yes. It was my mother when she found okay, out you so were gay. So your mother was curious why I was? Yes. She was like, uh, she was like, oh, so why did why did he choose to be that way? Why did he choose to be gay? And I, like she asked me genuinely, and I was like, oh, you know, it's just because it's just because you know you had some bad experiences with women or something. I think that's what I said to her, and then we left it at that. So you're welcome, I mean, James. I got it. I got you covered. Kind of part of it, but it's also not the full. I got you really covered, cool. James. Dude, you know, we're friends. I got you covered. <laughs> <laughs> you know that we're someone. <laughs> comes up to us and asks us why Don't you worry. are gay I got you covered <laughs> that's just what friends are for dude you're welcome this is so good <laughs> it's just, worry, it's just how it is I can answer this <laughs> <Excuse> yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm like, Hold on. I'm like somebody, if, if anyone recognizes language. us if everyone recognizes us at level up expo they'll be like oh my god are you <laughs> Are you mad and Ryan of Super Mega? And I'll be like, oh yeah, of course he's like, it's like you're gay, right? What? Why? Why are you gay? And I'll be like, no, no, no. You'll be like, oh, so you know, it's a funny story. I just and I stop you, and I'm like, no, 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 no. I've got this. Women. <laughs> so women. Can't live with them. Can't live without them. <laughs> so women. You know the um, naturally weaker and uh, submissive 
version of humans. Uh, weak and fragile. <laughs> weak and <Whoa>. fragile. <laughs> what was our, our Laura Croft? Yeah, that was it. That was it. The women are weak and fragile and they can't do anything. And it's, do we say that while she's like parkouring up, like climbing up exactly. this, this, this 90 degree sheer cliff with like, just her bare I, hands? I feel like that ever, if we ever get popular, like that video gets viewed, people will be like, oh, they're so misogynistic. No, we're saying it because she's doing No, no, no. Don't be like, oh my God, they're so misogynistic. And I'll make a response to you like, yes, we were misogynistic and it was funny as fuck. And we do not apologize for it. (laughs) We were young men at the time. We were so young and so funny. God, we were so funny. Uh, (laughs) Anyway, if you guys enjoyed, you should like. Hold on. We didn't talk about Elon Musk and just completely nuking Twitter. Oh, yeah. Twitter got kind of, uh, it got kind of. He's it got kind of bamboozled in the past like few weeks, right? He locked all the employees out of their office. Really? Yeah. I thought he fired all of them. No, he didn't fire thing? everybody. He fired like a shit ton of people. Ah, uh, he just fired so a lot of people. Mm, I see. There's there's like a video somebody did of a live stream that they were doing while they were being fired, like literally counting down to the last second. <laughs> it was yeah. fucking funny. It, it's a genuinely funny video because because uh, like it's just five guys held, held together like. Well, we got one minute till we're fired. Uh, okay. <laughs> they just wait the whole minute. They walk over and they like try their key cards. Like, Jesus Christ, they really fired us. Holy shit. I've been here for nine fucking years. <laughs> Do you know how much I've sacrificed? <laughs> it's literally like, hey, guys, like yeah. you know how much we sacrificed for this company? Dude, if, if I was working at Twitter and then I was one being fired by Elon Musk, I would actually go into, I would go into the, like their, Oval office meeting, sit down and just reenact that scene of like, what? Wh- wh- you can't do this to me. <laughs> you know how much I've sacrificed. <laughs> I wonder if they would get the joke and then I would just leave after that. I'd be like completely composed after that. I'd be just like, stand straight up and yeah. just walk out. Yeah, I'd be like the, you know, the super angry face and just go straight poker face next second, stand straight up, straighten up my tie and I'd be like, gentlemen, and just leave. Gentlemen. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, so he launched what was it called? Twitter Blue, which was a subscription program. Oh uh, yeah, man. For the uh verified check mark thing to show to tell to show people that you're who you actually say you are. The real chads who are willing yeah, to. Yeah, so if you pay eight dollars eight dollars. Eight dollars a month for the blue check mark on Twitter. And I think Elon was really he was he was really against people who were who were who didn't like that. Like people are like, oh, why would anyone pay eight bucks for this Twitter check mark? And he's like, of course you would pay eight bucks. And then he sent the meme of like the, the Wojak meme of like <laughs> it was basically like the Drake meme of like the deny and then accept. Where it's uh eight dollars uh eight dollars for a cup of Starbucks and and then <laughs> the Wojak's like angry like happy and then eight dollars for blue Twitter check mark and the Wojak's uh angry. Yeah, but you're getting something out of the coffee. You get yeah, a blue check Yeah, I mean, check I don't think now. he understands. I don't think he understands nothing. that the blue check mark's kind of like crypto, where it's worthless. There's no worth in it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you're paying. Musk understands how Twitter works. You are paying much, for nothing. It's like nothing. The Twitch CEO. Yeah. I don't think they understand other companies. Work. And you know, uh, when you when you think about when you think about what happens when you just can give when you just give anyone who pays you eight dollars a blue check mark. Twitter thing, or like a blue a check mark on Twitter. What what do you think happens on Twitter? It, dude, a lot of funny stuff happened. Yes, a lot of funny stuff happened, like <laughs> a really, bunch of people posing as a uh, big companies, really, right? <laughs> really good japes happened. You know, I saw his little like uh, he did like a, a press conference with some dude who was asking him about this, and he was like, he was like, so why did you put in the um the check mark system? And then Elon's like, oh, you know, we needed to make some money, some revenue. And I thought that was a good idea because we would uh, be able to stop a bunch of trolls and uh, bots and stuff. And I think this was a, a good direction toward that. And then like the very second that thing gets released, blue check mark, like a bunch of like troll accounts pop up impersonating a bunch of these companies. And I think there was one that impersonated Eli and co or something, whoever, whatever pharmaceutical company has like yeah, the monopoly yeah. on insulin. It's Eli and co Eli. Yeah. Whatever. Eli and co. Uh, yeah. somebody impersonated them and then tweeted out like, uh, e- insulin's now free or something like, <laughs> <laughs> so and then, good. and then, it, and then 
it just so happened coincidentally that their stock dropped like five percent after that mm-hmm. tweet came just out. Happened. Just so happened. it just so coinc it just coinc coinc dink that they lost a few like a few billion dollars here that they lost a few billion dollars. Um, I'm pretty sure some people say that it's not because of the tweets. I I genuinely genuinely I do not fucking believe that it is because it also happened with another company and the same thing happened where they lost a bunch oh, so of you, stuff. So you do yeah. think it's because of the tweets? Yes, absolutely. Okay. I think the tweets had something to do with it because if because the people who follow the people who use Twitter and follow these big companies like that are are boomers <laughs> or people who need the insulin, right? And then uh, <laughs> I classify them all as boomers. I mean, who who needs insulin except boomers, right? Leave a like if you need insulin. Jesus. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So their their stock. Yeah, it did happen with some other companies, like the self defense. The the uh, the company that sells uh, like military oh, equipment. Uh, yeah, I literally just knew their name too. I was going to bring like them. Deep something. No, it wasn't that. It was something else. I don't remember their name. I show speed. Yeah, it was like I I show speed is the face of that company, but um yeah they also lost their stock also dropped a bunch when they, I think they announced like the tweet was like um we're banning the U S and Israel from from uh, getting any weapons until we investigate them for war crimes or something. <laughs> it's so funny, but yeah so like the entire the Twitter was just like that for like a few days and I think Elon pulled the plug on the system right when that happened so. Yeah. I was gonna like right before it got shut off, I was gonna make a fake like change my account, get yeah. a check mark and like do something and be like, these fucking crapshoot boys, they're 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 taking my idea. Dude, you Just, you, like, you impersonate celebrity. super mega and you're like, so check out these crapshoot boys, they're <laughs> these they're quite good. Check Wait, no, you guys. impersonate Jackson Tucker and he's <laughs> and then you apply to the Superman. <laughs> Wait, I just want to bring this up before we end the um, episode here. There's a really funny bit in a recent Super Mega video, oh, mail opening video that I watched where they got another fan art of Jackson Tucker in the <laughs> Hawaiian shirt and the drink. And they're like, oh, I know who that is. That's uh, that's the new guy, um, uh, uh, like Corey or whatever. And they're like, yeah, get Corey in here. It's like, oh, someone already made fan art of him. <laughs> and then the guy they bring him looks exactly like Jackson Tucker. <laughs> And he's like, and he's like, see, look, guys, I made fan art of you. And then he immediately recognizes that it's not him. And he's like, oh yeah, haha, yeah, guys, it's it's me. <laughs> that's that's amazing. I I enjoy how well I enjoy how like they don't address it directly, but they still make jokes about it, even though it's that's probably that, like a, a huge traumatic experience for them. That's a ridiculous thing that happened to them, like. <laughs> He spent so much goddamn money. This motherfucker spent so much fucking money. <laughs> Such bullshit things. <laughs> he, he, sp- he bought so much every day. Every day. Hey man, groceries aren't going to fill themselves up. God, that's still one of my favorite videos that we did. It's just reading through all of his fucking <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if you enjoyed, you should like and subscribe. If you're we Jackson do this, Tucker and you're looking for a new company to work for, <laughs> we've got you covered. Don't worry. We already paid a fake, a fake Twitter account for you. <laughs> yeah, um, but you're banned from using our Amex card. So no, 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 we Neville do this up. every oh, yeah. Sunday. We do every Sunday. Yeah. No. Yeah, no. every Sunday, but only if you subscribe no. and have the notifications for it. You can you can hear us talk about random shit every Sunday. I swear, so it's gonna be good like fifty percent of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Bring us out, James. So my mother uh, called me the other day, and uh, she said to me, she said.